Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new, please hit that like and subscribe button. Let's get right into today's video. So getting right into it, I am taking my 3XL coffin tips from Betty Cora and I am applying them to all of the nails. Next, I am taking my tip cutter and cutting these down um, to kind of like a long length. We're not going super short for this set. Um, it is another Halloween set if you didn't see it by the thumbnail, so I kind of wanted them a bit long so I have enough space to work with. Now I'm taking my hand file and going along the sidewalls and the free edge just to make sure everything is nice and flush to that natural nail. So for today's set, I am going to be using Cocaine Glow along with Light Bright and the color Pum Pum. If you haven't noticed, Pum Pum is one of my favorite nude colors from Acrylics. And I do have a discount code with her if you are interested in purchasing any of her products. It does save you 20% on your order. The link to her website along with my code is down below in the description um, under the affiliates links and code section. It is in my link tree. I decided to make a link tree for um, all my discount codes and everything. I don't know. Let me know if you guys prefer that rather than me just linking all the links down below. Um, I just felt like it was easier to have all the links and the codes in one place. So that's kind of what I was thinking when doing that. But getting into the tutorial, I am taking that pom pom color and applying it to the pinky now. I will also be applying it to the thumbnail as well. It's very weird showing the thumb um, in the in my YouTube video, but for her contest, she does um, require having five nails done. So that's why I am showing this process as well. I did forget to mention this nail set um, is a part of like my entry for her Halloween contest as well. So that's kind of why I am doing this as well. I keep saying as well, that's kind of annoying, but yeah. Um, so I decided to share this tutorial though so that way you can kind of get a glimpse into all of my Halloween sets. And I know the free edge is looking a bit crazy on the thumbnail. I decided not to file it for some reason, um, but towards the end when we do do like the fi like the finished filing, I do straighten that out and you'll be able to see that process as well. So for the ring finger, I am taking that color light bright. It's a very beautiful nude color and it does actually glow in the dark, which I think I did show a little snippet of it towards the end of this set glowing. This is actually one of my um, favorite colors from her collection as well. Um, I do say that all of her colors are my favorite, which they pretty much are. I love all of her powders. They're very beautiful. They're very easy to work with. And, and I just love how this color glows. Like it's a very beautiful glow color. Same with Cocaine Glow, that white color I showed you in the beginning, obviously by the name you can tell it glows and it's a very, very beautiful, like vibrant glow which you'll be able to see as well. Everything you do makes me 
I will be also applying light bright to the index finger as well and then we will be moving on to the middle finger. And I also want to apologize if you hear any background noise. I do have two kids like I mentioned in one of my last videos and they do like to make a lot of noise and it's very hard to get voiceovers done so I apologize sort of. I don't actually apologize because they are kids and they can you know make noise. I'm not going to tell them to be quiet while doing these voiceovers but if it's annoying to you then I'm sorry but yeah just kind of want to throw that out there I guess. So yeah. Next, I'm going in with Cocaine Glow and applying it to the middle finger. Um, I didn't want this finger white because I am doing another character on this um, nail as well. So I kind of wanted, wanted the background to be white so I can have the picture, well, the nail art stand out a bit more. Now that we've finally finished the acrylic application, I'm going in with my 5-in-1 drill bit and I'm going around the cuticle making sure everything is nice and flush. Next, I will be going in with my Tammy Taylor pen and stick file and filing the sidewalls and the free edge. I don't normally show the free edge part um, while doing the sidewalls just because I like to flip the hand over and do it that way. So you won't see that part until after this, but I do like to file the sidewalls and then I do go over the surface of the nail. Um, I did forget to do that on the pinky, so you will see me go back and do that. And you can absolutely use your e-file to file over the surface, but I do love doing it with a hand file. I just feel like it gives it more of a clean look um, when using your hand file to file over the surface. Now we're doing the thumb too so that way I can finally shape up that free edge and you'll be able to see how nice and crisp and straight that it like it comes out after looking all crazy like just look how beautiful that is like I am so happy with how much my shaping has improved it's coming out like very flawless and I'm just I love it. So here I have my hand flipped and I'm doing the free edge of the rest of the nails um 
Yeah, I don't want to get too repetitive with this because in every video I just keep telling you like, yeah, I recommend you doing this, which I really do. I do recommend you guys doing this method and you'll see how nice everything comes out. Like, just look how beautiful and straight all these nails are. It just is one of my favorite methods. And I did get that from V Nailed It. If you didn't know, if you haven't watched her channel before, she does mention how she does do that. She flips the the client's hand and looks at it from their perspective so that way you can get everything nice and straight. Now I'm taking my mini buffer and I'm going in and just gently buff buffing over the surface since we will be doing lots of nail art on this set as well. So for this now, I will be drawing a pumpkin and I did mix this orange with like a super light jelly orange color and a, like a darker jelly orange color. So that's kind of how I got this color here and I'm just shaping, well outlining the shape of the pumpkin and then I will be infilling that next. Next, I'm taking my black gel polish and I will be outlining the pumpkin and then I will be going in and doing like the little triangles in the face of the pumpkin. I do want to mention you want to make sure to be carrying in between like each detail because if you go in with like each step you could possibly ruin what you previously did so I do recommend carrying it for at least like 10 to 15 seconds just to give it a nice flash cure. Next I'm taking that black gel polish and I'm doing like the little lines now with the pumpkin to give it more um, detail I guess. Thank you something. 
I'm going in with that orange again and kind of like doing the stem now. Um, it's not like an actual stem stem out. Kind of, I don't know what I was doing when I was doing this um, little design here. But yeah, I took that orange color and did that. And I'm taking the black and outlining that and giving it more detail as well. And I want to apologize for my hair being in this tutorial as well. I did this set the same day I did the jigsaw set. So I like to get super close when doing in-depth nail art. And I kind of forget that I am recording. So my head is like in the way. But I did try to zoom in as much as I can. So that way it's not like super noticeable. But it kind of is. Next, I'm going in with the red color and giving this pumpkin some bloody looking designs. So I'm having it to where the blood looks like it's coming out of the eyes and just little splatters along the pumpkin. And then I will be doing some blood dripping underneath the pumpkin. Next, I'm taking this very deep brown color that I mixed with a regular brown gel polish and some black, and I'm outlining the um, handle part because I will be doing a knife on this nail, so I'm kind of doing like the outline of the handle and then filling it and then curing that for 30 seconds. Next, I'm taking my black gel polish and I'm outlining the like blade part of the knife. Again, I'm so sorry for my hair and my head being in the way. Like, it's making me cringe, honestly. Like, it's... Ugh. But yeah, getting back to the video, like the tutorial, I'm taking that black gel polish and doing, like, that part because I will be using chrome and I want it to give it more of that, like, silvery, like, chrome look, I guess, that knives have. So that's kind of why I'm doing that. Um, but yeah. Now I'm just taking the chrome and rubbing it into the black gel polish, trying to be careful not to get it in that brown handle because it is sticky as well and I don't want it to stick to the brown part. Um, but yeah. Now I'm taking my black gel polish again and outlining the whole knife just to give it more detail. I feel like when you outline um, like the little drawings, it gives it more detail and it brings everything out even more. So I kind of love doing that. But I'm outlining the handle and then the blade as well. And then I will be giving the knife some more like detail. So I'm taking that red gel polish again and creating some more blood dripping down from the knife. Um, if you didn't know by the thumbnail, I am trying to do like a Michael Myers themed nail set. And obviously, you know, he kills with the knife. So that's kind of what I was trying to go for here. So yeah. After I do this little detail, I will be going in and curing it for 60 seconds. And then I will be moving on to the other nails. So for the pinky and the thumb, I am do just going in with the black gel polish and doing simple French nails. Um, I didn't really know what other details to add to this set, so I decided just to do black Frenchies for, like I said, the pinky and the thumbnail. So here I'm doing like the A method where I draw like the side slanted lines and going in with the middle line and kind of like doing the smile line now. Um, I don't know why I'm, I have a hard time explaining things, but yeah. But after I do the outline, I will be filling that in with the black gel polish and carrying that in the lamp for 60 seconds. Since it is very pigmented, I want to make sure it's cured enough. And then I will be cure I mean, then I will be going in and doing the th same thing on the thumbnail as well.
So getting into the Michael Myers um, nail set, well the nail, I am taking my white gel polish and kind of outlining his head or what would be like his mask I guess. I'm trying to go for that but I am not that great at doing like in-depth nail art. Like I need more practice honestly but I'm just outlining this in the white gel polish and, in, and then infilling it and curing this for 30 seconds. Next, I'm going in with the black gel polish and kind of like the same thing I did with the jigsaw nails. I'm kind of doing some like weird swiggly line and then I will be doing like the half circle of for the eyes and then infilling that as well. Next, I'm taking the black gel polish again and doing the outline of like where would the eyelid be, I guess, or the eyebrows. I don't exactly know what this part's supposed to be, but yeah. And then I will be doing the same thing and going in and trying to do his nose as well. I don't really do any of this perfect. I just do simple sketching motions to get like the 
like design part that I'm going for so it's not really perfect at all but I was doing my best and now I'm going in and doing his mouth which is just essentially like two little lines and then I do go in and try to do like the cheek crevices or I don't really know exactly what that part is called and then I go in with more detail which is just outlining everything and giving it more depth Next, I'm going in with this light brown um, gel polish color and sketching out like his hair, I guess. It doesn't have to be this pointy look and how I have it. I don't exactly know how his hair really looks, but I do know it's brown, so I, that's why I chose the brown color. But yeah, I'm just sketching that out and then infilling it and curing this as well for 30 seconds. In my opinion, it looked way better without me outlining it with the black gel polish, but I guess I decided to do that either way. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm doing here is just taking my black gel polish and giving the hair kind of more detail by outlining it. And yeah. Now I will be going in with a deep blue color and kind of working on his jumpsuit because you know he's wearing like a mechanical, well mechanic jumpsuit. So I'm kind of doing that as well here and I'm just taking that blue gel polish and doing like the outline of that and then I am filling that in as well. So I did do the white part that's like under his neck off camera because I was my head was like in the frame so much so you couldn't see it anyway. And now I'm just taking the black gel polish and doing the part would be like his shirt, I guess. And then I will also be outlining the blue parts that I drew previously.
Again, with that deep blue color, I'm going in, in filling the rest of the part of the nail just to give the jumpsuit more um, design, I guess. And then I will be carrying that and then I will be taking the black gel polish and doing like the little pockets on the jumpsuit. So this is what all the nails are looking like I've after I've done the nail art. Um, it came out okay, like I said. I'm not that good at character nail art, but decided to try anyway. Now I'm going in with my Mo Nails top coat and applying that to all of the nails. Well, except for the middle finger. I did do this character as well in matte um, top coat with the Beatles brand. Like I said, I highly don't recommend that brand, honestly. It's, it gives me constant headaches as soon as I open that bottle. So I do, I will be going and searching for a different brand. If you do have any favorite matte top coats, I'll leave any recommendations down below. After I apply the matte top coat to this now, I do cure this in the lamp for 90 seconds to make sure everything is nice and fully cured. But that pretty much concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I do have a snippet of the nails glowing in the dark after this. But if you haven't yet, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!